Hello everyone and welcome to Genshin Impact. Today we're going to look at the second act of the Lantern Rite Festival. As of now, today is actually Valentine's Day. Wow. Honestly, I forgot it was Valentine's Day until I saw people on Discord singing Happy Valentine's Day and I was like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. What do I do for Valentine's Day? It's so nice to de-stress. Well, yeah, you could do that, Ganyu, that's right. But today, I have a valentine. Y'all know who it is. Ta-da! Are you amazed? <laughs> so what do I do with child? I don't know. What What's the ideal date with child? I mean, usually he just wants to kill stuff. Which is fine. You know, I like the combat. Oh, no! He survived. <laughs> you didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> um, my bad. You know, let's chat. How about that? Uh, good morning. Good morning, comrade. You're raring to go today, I see. He still calls me comrade. We're at French at 10. Do I still- am I only a comrade to you? Ice fishing and combat follow the same principle. Patience and decisiveness are key. Though, having said that, I suppose the same is true of everything in life. Okay, he likes ice fishing and combat. Well, ice fishing is not a thing in Genshin. Like, I, I don't know how to really do- it. Well, I guess- Huh. This is as close as we're gonna get. Let's do that. And then grab the fish. Yes. Ice fishing. Yeah, we're having such a great time. Look at that. This is what you wanted to do, right? It's your hobby. This is so weird. Everyone's gonna watch this video and they're gonna be like, what is happening? Yay! We went ice fishing! Yay! <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's try to make his special food. What? What is that again? Okay. The right of parting. Child's specialty dish. This is uh, how you get child's specialty. You just cook this. Until, okay, well, yeah, make a special dish, and let's go ten times. See how lucky we can get. Ah, we got two of them. We got two of his specials. It's called a prize catch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just noticed the description. <laughs> Tartaglia specialty. It looks like a trapped beast floundering in an ocean of blood. Its death throws an inaudible scream. But Tartaglia smiles and explains this is something he fished out of the sea with some products from his homeland on the side. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Alright then. Okay, now we're gonna actually do the ladder right Keep thing. moving, we'd freeze. Okay. Hello again, Wangya. How's the Ming Xiao Lantern construction coming along? Good to see you two. The Ming Xiao Lantern is coming along smoothly, thank you. <laughs> we're almost done collecting the required plostrite. The project should be completed in a few days. You'll have to come by when it's done. Plostrite? Mm hmm. Plostrite is the main component of any Mingxiao lantern. Most of the donations we get from the city folk are either Mora or Plostrite. A lot of them carve their heart's desires onto the Plostrite they donate as a prayer for good fortune and other blessings. Paimon wants some good fortune too. Let's find some Plostrite and make a wish. Hmm. Since you seem so eager to donate, how about you keep your eyes open for less common varieties of Plostrite? Those are the ones we lack the most at the moment. Let's dance. Uh, yeah. nice. oh. Hey guys. Child likes combat, so, you know. 
That's how it is. Thank you. Okay. the last one wait where is the last one wait where what what the f where'd it go what the heck no oh my gosh no seriously where'd it go hello oh there it is what the heck hiding behind the tree there we go. Alright. We got Azurite. Next place. Ooh. We gotta defeat Ruin Hunter. Let's go. Everybody stand back. Ooh. -hoo. Damage. Die. This is gonna hurt. Who's next? Oh no, you've lost a tiny bit of health. Anya, we're back with a fresh supply of Azerite and Vermilionite. I knew I could count on you. Let me see. Hmm. Yep, without a doubt, these are Azerite and Vermilionite. But don't you want to make your wishes? You brought back just enough materials for both of you. Come on, get carping. Uh, all right. What what's my wish? Paimon prays for a bottomless stomach to eat more delicacies with. And you? Let Paimon see. Huh? Well, that doesn't sound like something you'd wish for. Uh, I wished for my brother, I see. I really hope his wish will come true. I don't know what his wish is, oh. but... So you put your brother's wish rather than your own. Don't you worry. Paimon will help you find him, and we'll spend the next lantern ride together. Miss Wong, yeah? Something wrong? Well, hello, Chang Chang. What's up, little missy? Can't find your granddad? Granddad said he's busy, and I should go play on my own. I want to make a Xiao lantern, but I don't know how. Miss Wong, yeah? Could you help me make a Xiao Lantern? Sure thing. Hey, could I bother you to go to the construction site at the dock and gather some building materials? Sure. Right, thanks. I appreciate it. Look over there! That guy's acting very suspicious, don't you think? Hey, man, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? Uh, you that's what I was like saying. Get gone. Wh huh? All right. If you all won't get gone, I'm just gonna get going myself, I guess. Wow. Can we follow him? I thought he might be a shady character. Then he opened his mouth, and now I'm unsure of it. He must have been up to something when he was crouching down on the ground because as soon as he saw us approaching, he stood up and acted all innocent. He did not he act innocent. A bad feeling about he this. acted so defensive. What could he be up to? Let's investigate. All right. Now this is more interesting. Well, this area is full of construction supplies for the Mingchao Lantern. Paper, oil. What the oil? frick is right there? <gasps> Stop, bro! Hey, what you doing? He said it again! What you staring at me like that for? Get gone! No, you get what? gone! Huh? Alright. Why is he saying the exact same gone. lines? I'm just gonna get going myself, I guess. You're not you're not leaving though. Okay. Oh my god, bro! I'm watching you! Oh wow, this dude. This well, dude. On the day of the lantern right, huge crowds come out to watch the Mingxiao lantern being released. It can't be a good sign if there's a suspicious character lurking around somewhere so dangerous. 
Clearly he doesn't want to leave. He's been tampering with the stockpile of lantern supplies. Let's get the materials we came for first. We can tell Wanya about the situation when we get back. I am watching you. Don't make me. I'm a member of the Vatui. You should be afraid. You got lucky. I shot right over the, your shoulder. Next time, I won't miss. I'm starting to act crazy. This is what happens when you have when you main child. You literally become crazy. <laughs> we saw a shady character skulking around the highly flammable materials at the construction site. He looked like he was up to no good. I see. Okay. Please inform the Ministry of Civil Affairs about what you saw. I'll talk to Jing Ming. I got a report to make. Halt! This is the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs. We're here to report a suspicious individual. Yeah! We saw a shady looking guy snooping around near the stockpile of highly flammable Mingxiao lantern supplies. We must defend the grilled tigerfish food stall at all costs! <laughs> oh, goodness! This is a serious matter indeed. Rest easy. The Ministry of Civil Affairs has assigned a specialist to keep the lantern right safe. I will inform him of this matter and order him to step up vigilance in due course. Alright, sounds course. good. This is serious. Why not get your butt over there and tell him straight away? I wish I could, but he's yet to return. He's taken a small team to Guili Plains. Huh? Okay. I'll go to Leo Plains and tell them. Huh? Uh, but you're a traveler, aren't you? You've come all this way for the lantern right, and yet you are willing to lend a hand? Yeah, it's no what problem. This is what I do. We're experts in this kind of stuff. We lend hands all the time. <laughs> oh, Leave it to us. us. Really? Huh. Then we are indebted to you. Travelers are so kind these days. I don't see the Millilith. I only see the Hill of Charles. Well, we can take care of it. Why would they gather together like this? We can't let them get away with being a menace to the people here. Let's show them what we've got. Freeze! Nope, you ain't getting away. There we go. Done. Who? Who are you? Where did you come from? Why do you look the exact same as the guy we just spoke to? G.I.E. sent- that's a- that's a- a dog this name. G.I.E. sent us. Oh, thank you. If it weren't for your help, today may have ended quite differently. What is it you're doing here? I'm in charge of keeping the lantern right safe. Then why aren't you there? The woodwork at this time of year. There are thieves around every corner. Well, I need to get back to looking for that thief. But thanks for your help. Until next time. Wait a second. We're not done here. Oh, is there something else? There's a that I cannot read. There's a specific. Why can I not say that word? I can. I've always said that word. There's a specific. Oh my god, help! There's a suspicious character down at the harbor. Oh my god. Another one. It's interminable. Another one, right. you say? Uh, when I get back, I'll get the other troops to be extra vigilant in the area. Perhaps we should take this into our own hands. I might think so too. Yeah. With our wealth of experience adventuring far and wide. We should be able to get to the bottom of this. I think it's treasure horse. He looks so like a treasure let's hoarder. Go back to the place where we witnessed the shady-looking guy. Oh, it's nighttime, so the lanterns are up. Oh, so pretty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Buster, what's the big idea, huh? Hey, Chow! Knew it! Chow caught him. Should we chase after him? Wait! There's another person! And Chow. What is that? What are you doing here? Check it up on what's happening. Huh? Chow? Are you here for the festival? I have no interest in lantern right. Why does it I celebrate you, bro? Here. I'm here to investigate. 
when a shackle is loosened in the realms of deities and demons, I take full responsibility. But this time, the threat comes from the mortal world. Your world. Thus you shall take full responsibility, mortal traveler. When the time comes, I hope you shall act promptly and decisively. What are you, what are you talking about? for the tassel of the polearm that has slaughtered countless demons to become stained with mortal blood. What's this? A symbol that your suspected evildoer left behind. What, do you recognize this, Paimon? Doesn't look familiar to Paimon. Well, you will have to show me how much you can accomplish on your own strength. Because if I become involved, there is a possibility that the streets of Liyue Harbor will be painted red this lantern round. Oh, jeez. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Kaya will know something about it. What? Where'd you get that idea? Bro, I haven't spoken to Kaya in a long time. Not gonna lie, kind of forgot he existed. Sorry, Kaya. I'm always forgetting that you exist in this game. I mean, when I listed off cryo characters, I forgot to even mention your name, so that's pretty sad. Well, well. Long time no see. I do like Kaya's voice, I must say. It's very soothing. He's definitely a very charming person, I must say. Get to the point, Riley. Right, right. Kaya, there's something we need to tell you about. The Traveler relates what they've seen. Lampers For once, I could read that. Stockpile of wood, paper, and oil. At the very least, it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> How very amusing. What makes you think I would recognize this symbol? You fucked with the dark side so you would know! <laughs> yeah, he's a very flirty guy. Exactly. You should watch what you say, honorary knight. No, it's true, bro. What do you mean, flirt with the dark side? The Knights of Favonius certainly does not have dealings with its enemies. <laughs> that has to do with a certain knightly virtue called integrity. Oh my anyway, goodness. I digress. This is the symbol of the cross-border criminal organization you know as the Treasure Hoarders. Yeah, I knew if it. If you are curious to know more, I can put you in touch with an informant on the inside. All right, then. Uh, didn't you just say the Knights of Favonius don't have dealings with their enemies? <laughs> this is my own personal informant. Nothing to do with the Knights of Favonius. A little later, make your way over to Windrise. I'll arrange for the informant to meet you there. Thanks, Kaya! Oh, and remember, wine begets wisdom. What? Huh? <laughs> that was random! So much time has passed, not gonna lie, I kinda miss talking to some characters from Mountstat. Like, um, Venti. I miss Venti. Venti was cool. Huh? Huh? Hey! You're the guy, right? Kaya's informant? Informant? <laughs> not me. But this is the place we agreed upon. And you're the only other one here, so... Place we agreed upon? <sighs> I know nothing. Ugh. Stop being so annoying. Hmm. Wine begets wisdom. Okay, yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Was any of that even slightly necessary? What do you want to know about? <sighs> Here's the situation. The traveler promised not to question okay, Nimrod. Okay, I see. So, what can you tell us as an insider? I do not think this is the work of the treasure hoarders. Really? The reason the treasure hoarders are able to sustain a giant cross-border operation is because they abide by one fundamental principle. Caution. Softly, softly, catchy monkey is the name of the game for them. By contrast, the idea of taking huge risks to try and make a fortune is utter folly in their eyes. Li Yue has the Adepti looking after it, doesn't it? And they're especially active during the Lantern Rite. Hmm. There's just no way that we, uh, sorry, <coughs> they, <laughs> slip of the tongue, when you've been undercover as long as I have. <laughs> uh, where, 
was I just... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, there's no way that they, the treasure hoarders, would dare make a move during the lantern rite. <laughs> Look at the traveler's face. She's like, ah. This totally doesn't sound like bullcrap or anything. The treasure hoarders organization in Liyue recently received an anonymous letter. What would someone send them an anonymous letter? <gasps> Trying to frame them, perhaps? Nobody knows. But what I can tell you is which branch of the treasure hoarders has the letter in their possession. Uh, <laughs> there. I've marked their location on the map for you. There are the treasure hoarders. All right. Explain. Sorry, pal. Wrong way. <laughs> Wherever you think you're going, it's that way. No, no. I I need to talk to you. Show us the anonymous letter. How do you know about the letter? Uh, Don't ask. One of Leo's adepti told us about it. Did they now? I somehow doubt that. We're not gonna tell you, you bro. Not doubt it. It was I who sent them to investigate. Oh, Shao's been following us? You may direct to me. <laughs> Did you just appear out of thin air? Well, that's an Adeptus for you. You're the vigilant Yaksha. We treasure hoarders are no serious threat to anyone. We're petty criminals, that's all. <laughs> We're petty criminals. You are truly an Adeptus. Please, show us some mercy, would you? Of course. If it turns out you're not a real Adeptus, then please... Don't blame our weapons for treating everyone equally. <laughs> you really gonna pick a fight? All right, let's go. Everybody, stand back! Now I can actually use the Q. It's finally building up. I don't know what happened last time. It's kind of broken. Boring. Evil conquering. It's too bad there's only one guy, but. Yeah, that was cool. P please, my heroic friend and adeptus buddy, have mercy. The letter is drivel anyway. It's not worth an armed conflict. Just take it. How about that? Paimon knew it all along. Good job, Let's Paimon. See what they wrote. I see. What? Then let us send these two to the meeting. It'll be fine. When we're in disguise, no one will be the wiser. It still Wait, we're gonna like go in disguise? Me, but with the help of an adeptus, hopefully everything will turn out fine. Well, the safety of Liyue is in your hands now. Good luck. Even the treasure hoarders don't want to see the city burned to the ground. Then it okay. is settled. Wait! <sighs> what is it? Next time we meet, uh? let's make it somewhere with the view of the Ming Shell Lantern. Oh. Well, my asking shall I? Okay. I am not partial to crowded areas, especially at this time of the year. When this matter is resolved, come to Wangshu Inn. In oh, you asking years, me? Okay. The Xiao Lantern has been visible even from there. Huh? He's vanished. Did he go back to Wangshu Inn already? But the time mentioned in the letter—that's today, isn't it? Come on, let's go to the meeting place. Okay. Hold on, I want to read the actual letter. Read. Okay, so there's a bunch of gibberish up there. <laughs> Treasure weed, big folk. I have an opportunity so crazy lucrative yet feasible. We went to the FCM thing, I'll, y'all wouldn't want to miss sand tree, right? Meet me in the dead of the night. I'll put my finest work. Why am I doing this weird accent? <laughs> I'll put my finest mask on to hide y'all guys and for y'all to recognize me. And I humbly recommend that there y'all do too. I just so there that three the, the author Woodsy don't recognize y'all folks. Anyway, I'm no snitch, of course. Just a kind reminder. I think that there's the way the treasure would you do things right to put on cool mask. And I know y'all cool folk. Cool folk gets along with cool mask. That this is uh, cool. And I like cool things here. So me, y'all there then. Oh my god, how do you- I- I am- the, Reading the- oh my. I don't know how to read anymore. Like, this is breaking my English just looking at it. Trying to read that is just- oh. My brain. <laughs> this is the beating spot. Wait, we don't look dressed up at all to be a treasure order. I'm just saying. All right, you folks from the treasure hoarders, yeah? 
<laughs> I thought I insinuated in my letter there that you should have done like I done and put on a mask and a costume and so forth. Oh my god, we don't- we didn't even try to hide ourselves. They still don't even recognize me though. But it seems you didn't all get the memo. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Gutsy. Okay. Well, guess what? We don't need to go sneaking around everywhere wearing disguises because unlike you, we would never do anything so shameful that we would need to wear masks while doing it. Really? I was in the middle of my speech and everything! <laughs> nice mask! I think he just enjoys dressing up. Wait a second now. You folks ain't no treasure hoarders. What game are you two playing? Detective, that's what we're playing. Alright, buddy, let's go! Shouldn't let your guard down. Dead. Okay, I, I give up. Give up now, or feel the wrath of my pimonial... Huh? You're giving up just like that? I... Uh, I'm just a lowly apprentice thief who really looks up to the treasure hoarders. What? An apprentice thief? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, for a greenhorn like me, especially working on my own and all, the treasure hoarders? Oh, man, they're my heroes. Wait a second. So. So I thought I'd try and set up some sort of lucrative opportunity and submit my pledge of loyalty. Wait oh my second. goodness. None of this is making any sense. Paimon was expecting a serial arsonist to be someone more sinister, evil looking. But instead, we get you. Arson? What the heck are you talking about? Don't pretend! Paimon's seen you loitering around piles of highly flammable materials! Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I was only checking the place out. Oh, okay. My plan ain't got nothing to do with those lantern construction materials. Are you serious? Well, I just wanted to nab me the biggest chunk of plastrite in 20 years is all. I was gonna wait till nightfall, chop off half the tethers, float it out to sea. Oh. Then, all I'd have to do is find some way or another of bringing it down, so I could hide it underwater in the shallows. The perfect crime. Uh, for a perfect crime, it sure has a lot of holes. For example, how exactly were you planning to bring down the plastrite once it was airborne? Uh, I was still in the process of figuring out the details, hence why I hadn't made my move yet. This guy is an imbecile. Okay, let's teach him a lesson. <laughs> Not Stupid thief! That idiot. Let's head back. The situation has been handled. Traveler, word spreads fast. <laughs> we will keep watch over the thief. Thanks for your help. So, Paimon supposes that's taken care of then. If only Xiao were here to see the Ming Xiao Lantern. Do you remember what the inspiration for the Ming Xiao Lantern was? An Adeptus. Yeah, with a name like Sky Bracer or something. So if it's modeled on an Adeptus, maybe Xiao would be interested this time. On the day the Ming Xiao Lantern is ready, we can meet him at Wang Xuan like he suggested, then try to persuade him. Alright, that was part two. What's part three? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one, which uh, will be over part three of Lantern Rite, which is in three days. So, yeah. Bye-bye.